This is the Lone Ranger. When I was a kid, I wanted to be him. I wanted to ride in on a white horse and fix every situation I was ever at. And that's kind of the leadership model I had. Who doesn't want to be the Lone Ranger, right? At the end of the day, he gets to ride off into the sunset. He's never held accountable for anything that ever happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is a picture of a school. Look past the age of this picture. If I go out of this room and I ask people around our community, what does a school look like? This is the image that they have in their head. As a school leader, it's my job to start to convince people that school is different. School is actually about culture. And culture is an interesting thing. I've learned as a leader over the years that leading is learning, and learning is a journey. And really, we're all on this journey together, and it's my privilege to kind of walk along with some really cool people, teachers and students. Often, we try and make school quantifiable, predictable. We have our plans, and we have our goals, and we have our objective plans, and all these other pieces of information. And that's great, and it's very important to have those. But really, we need to know that it's about the unknown. And <laughs> management is doing... <laughs> that's, funny thing. that's me this summer. I don't know. Uh, management is uh, doing uh, things right, but leadership is doing the right thing. And we need to know which is the right thing to cut, or do. Now, often we work in isolation, and isolation is a very good thing. We need it to recharge. But we also need to move beyond ourselves. And in education, that's a critical, critical thing. This summer, I went to the Discovery Institute, and I love this slide. I tweeted it out a bunch of times. It's a great quote from a person talk about connections. Sweatpants and coffee. I had to look it up. It's some woman who has a coffee shop in LA, I don't know. And she wrote this great quote about a tribe. And when you find those people and you make that community connection, it's very important. When I was young in my career, I thought we could look at schools by developing really interesting structures, efficient structures that would uh, cause kids to come to school and learn. And then I realized it's actually about function. And we need to look at our structures and say, what's the purpose of that thing? And if it's not a good purpose, get rid of it. And we need to look at our functions and say, hey, does it actually make that kid come to school? Does it actually make that kid learn? And that's the beauty of things. It changes our instructional practices. If we can do that, if we can change the way we teach. When I started teaching, I was the king. Their classroom was my kingdom. I would parlay my amazing information into their heads, and it would be great. Today's teacher constructs learning, and it is dynamite. I get to work with these fantastic people, some of them are in the room here today, and they are way smarter and way more efficient than I ever was as a teacher. And it just makes my heart boom for these people because they can do it. I can raw, raw crew to do any kind of cause. I can rally people to do amazing things and pull and win. And you know, if you know me, I'm in it to win it. But if I can get us to work together, we can change what we do. And this is an example of 20 principals pulling an airplane across the tarmac this year. And that was inspirational. It's also a really good icon or image because it shows the kinds of things we can do. If we can shift our thinking away from a spotlight, if we can take, now the spotlight's an important tool because we wanna highlight people with really good skills, but the danger inherent in a spotlight is that the rest of the performers are not seen. So we need to switch our thinking into that of a stage light. And we need to look at all the players. And you might be a teacher, you might be an educational assistant, you might be a parent, an artist, a visitor, a volunteer, but you have amazing things to offer the education system. And if as an administrator or as an educational leader, if I can empower you or enable you to do that, it is gonna change our world. You're gonna take your one passion and you're gonna be super creative with that passion and we're gonna take that other person's passion and they're gonna be amazing. And we're gonna put those together. And when we put the, all those individual things together, we are gonna have an amazing, amazing place. This is a mural that the 200 students and staff painted at the school I work at right now. And it's put up on the side of the Elton Ross Pool and it hasn't been touched for a couple of years now because it's from the community. Everybody had a part to play in it. When I started out in this job, I thought, I'm gonna change the world by making people think like me. I even said that to a superintendent. I was like, hey, we're just gonna, you know, everyone can think like me, it'll be awesome, we'll take over the world, right? <laughs> but now I know it's actually more about our diversity. And if we can enable our teams to each play their own symphonies and each celebrate their skills, we will make way more impact than that clone idea. Was, that was a bad idea, right? At the end of the day, Dean, this one's for you, it's really about family. My family is very dear to my heart. My work family, they call me the work dad, 
That's where we want to be as educators. We want our schools to be families for all of our people, staff and students. Thank you.